replacing implant site number 19. We're going to be using one of the five flapless techniques uh, called the mini envelope incision. We're going to be using an 8 millimeter implant uh, and uh, as many of you know the Journal of Periodontology did a study eight years ago showing the use of shorter implants on the lower um, was just as high, 97% or higher, uh, long term than like a, a 13 millimeter or longer implant. Something unique we're going to be doing is uh, prepping the abutment chair side today rather than giving the lab an analog and all that good stuff. What most of you who are general dentists that are viewing this will like about that is uh, same procedure as normal crown and bridge for the lab. And so you don't have to uh, shoot the components back and forth with the lab. It's, uh, it's a much more user-friendly technique for both the clinician and the laboratory. And so I use a, a small instrument much like a plastic instrument for composites to, uh, to actually make the mini envelope incision. So first of all, I kind of palpate the mucogingival junction, which is right here. And then we come up to where we're going to be placing the implant and just, just make, a, make a small incision in the keratinized tissue. That looks good. And then we're going to go ahead and do our initial pilot. With the slow speed. So I'm going to use that to palpate the lingual and the buckle, we've got good bone. So this is a fairly fresh extraction site, so it's important to note that you do not want to drill all the way to the final drill. Um, we are going to uh, drill one drill short of that, so a 3.8 uh, diameter drill for a 4.7 implant. The final drill normally for a 4.7 is a 4.4, but of course with a fresh extraction site, we've got new bone in there, it's not real hard, so we're going to want that implant to exert a little compression, uh, therefore it'd be a, a inserted a greater newton centimeters uh, than than normal. So this is our this is actually our final drill at a 3.8. We'll go ahead and insert the implant in place. So we're going to go ahead and are you still doing okay? Mm -hmm. A lot of pressure. You're doing wonderfully. So now we're going to take that abutment off. One of the uh, routes we could have gone is simply taking a closed tray impression. Um, I actually like to customize a stock abutment it, directly in the mouth and take an impression like normal crown and bridge, like I mentioned. And so we're going to show you how to do that today. So the abutments come out. We've got a little screw in there. What we're going to do is take a skinny diamond and we are going to cut the lab transfer off the top, thus making an abutment, a stock abutment that we can customize. So here's the lab transfer. We're going to slice them right here. So then what we're going to have is, is an abutment that we can customize in the mouth and take an impression just like normal crown and bridge. To view this and other over-the-shoulder clinical programs, visit hdiqdental.com. Dentistry Today readers enjoy special savings simply by entering DT2012 when prompted at the promo page. That's DT2012.